everyone. Welcome back to another Martin's Home and Garden House Fly of the Week. This week we're talking about a super cool plant, the Venus Flytrap. Um, these are carnivorous plants. They are not insectivorous, which means they eat more than just flies, despite their name. Um, so they will actually eat any other insects, small birds, small rodents, and even small frogs, pretty much anything that will fit into their small traps. And there are, I know these are really tiny, but there are much bigger ones in the wild. Um, and fun fact, they are only native to North and South Carolina in the United States. Um, these guys are really resilient and can withstand the hottest summers to the coldest winters. And they actually need these temperature changes because they go dormant in the winter and then they come back in the spring. And in spring, they will produce these cute little white flowers. Um, these guys are trying to produce flowers right now. They're only buds. They haven't quite bloomed yet, um, but they'll be these cute little dainty white flowers. And they produce them on these really tall stems in order to um, kind of prevent from trapping pollinators. Um, so that way the pollinators are nowhere near the traps and are not possibly eaten. And even though these guys can find their own flies like in the wild, if you do have them indoors, um, they're less likely to have, they're less likely to find their own prey. So you will need to feed them inside. So we are going to use mealworms. We're gonna show you how to feed these guys today. Um, you can get these at any kind of pet store. Um, you can also use like dried crickets and other insects that you can find. You can even use live insects if you can get your hands on them. I think you can probably order them online, um, but we're just gonna use mealworms. And you want to make sure that whatever insect you're using um, is small enough to fit in the traps without sticking out of the sides because um, it can only digest what is actually inside the trap. So. Here we go, find a really nice open trap, take your little bug, and in order for these to close, they do have little hairs on the inside. Um, so when insects get trapped and they're moving around inside the trap, that is what triggers the trap to close. Um, so they cannot escape. So you're gonna wanna mimic kind of that same situation. Take your bug and then find an open trap. And then you're gonna want to kind of wiggle Wiggle the trap around. Oh no, I dropped it. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. And it closes, it should close. Um, so that, you're done, you don't have to do anything else. Um, it'll do its own dissolving digestive, pro digestive process um, all on its own. Let me put him back, there we go. So these guys are really, really super cool plants and we are going to show you how to care for them today. Um, so the first thing, um, the first requirement for these guys is the lighting requirement. They're a little bit different than most of your other house plants because they need direct sun. They need at least six hours of full sun a day. If you can put these guys outside in the summer, that is ideal. Give them a super sunny spot where they can receive that six or more hours of sunlight a day. Um, their leaf colors will actually change depending on how much sunlight they're receiving. So if your leaves are super green, no red, just green like this guy is that we just showed you. He is not receiving an adequate amount of sunlight. He needs a little bit more sunlight. Um, when they're just green, they're solely focused on photosynthesis, when they should be focused on catching prey, dissolving prey, um, getting the nutrients from that prey. If your plant is more like this guy, he's got red lobes, red traps, whatever you want to call them, um, which means he's receiving an adequate amount of sunlight. And he's not just solely focused on photosynthesis. He's actually focused on catching um, prey, whatever, um, and dissolving that. The next requirement that's really important for these guys is watering. Um, because they're used to the really boggy, humid environments of North and South Carolina, um, they never want to dry out. That's why we have them in these little water cups. Um, that way they're constantly absorbing water. They're never able to dry out completely. Um, if your traps are starting to turn black, like this little guy right here, um, that means they're not staying moist enough and they need a little bit more moisture in their soil um, to stay happier. You can just pick those off too. They won't hurt them because they're not very attractive. Um, <laughs> um, 
also with watering, these plants do not want any sort of fertilizer. So don't fertilize these plants. You don't have to worry about that at all. They get all of their nutrients from the prey that they catch and dissolve. Um, so no fertilizer in the water, in the soil, none of that. Um, so you can just kind of forget about those. Um, another thing with watering is these plants only want clean water. So don't use tap waters with these. Per preferably um, because tap water contains like extra minerals, um, fluoride and all that that these do not want. Um, so if you can use distilled water, um, filtered water, those are gonna be the best options to avoid any kind of over nutrient problems. Um, and then just like the water doesn't need to have any nutrients in it, these plants do not want any nutrients in their soil as well. Um, so it's best to use something like peat moss, um, or sphagnum moss like we have right here because those don't contain any added nutrients like your typical potting soil would. Um, this is the Fertilume Organic Sphagnum Peat Moss and then we also have these little bags of plain sphagnum moss. These guys are planted in um, regular sphagnum moss like this is right here and that way they also hold um, a lot more nutrients than a regular potting soil. Not, not nutrients, a lot more moisture, sorry, um, than a regular potting mix would as well. Um, so that way they won't dry out as fast. Um, that is pretty much it for today, guys. If you are interested in these really cool plants, come check them out. We have a ton of them. Um, we can tell you all about them. Um, but we will see you guys next week. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.